let's look into the details of the loss function. Okay, so let's say that we have two batches, right? It's the same batch, but it's for two versions of the same image. So let's look at the first one. That's out one right here. And then we have out two, right? So yeah. these guys right here. And now the code says we can concatenate these, right? So what we end up with is something like this. Yeah. Which is exactly what we have here. This here. So we can concatenate both batches. And then we have this guy here. And in the next line, we're going to take a transpose of those and multiply them together, right? Okay, so out one and out two. So this was out one. And then we had out two here. So y1, y2, and they were all concatenated into yeah. a single vector. And then uh, we did the transpose here. Right, so then we do the transpose. And that's going to end up with x1, x2, and then y1, y2. And now we're going to take the matrix multiply of this. So what we're going to end up with is x1, x1, x2, x1. And then we'll change colors, y1 and y2 with x1, right? And then we are going to do the second one, which will be x1, x2, and we'll just let's just copy these guys. So it's like that. Three times. Uh, just one more time. Yeah. Great. Perfect. And now we have uh, x1. And let's just do the x's first. So x1. This is x2, 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 x2. And then this is y1, 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 and then y2. Great. Yeah. So yeah, now you can really see how the whole outer product comes out to be between the concatenated versions. Exactly. So here is a similarity between the same images, right? The yeah. same elements. So we need to get rid of that so that we can do an efficient computation. So the way we do that is we create this mass, right? So again, that's just showing you here. It's the same effect. So we're going to create this mask here. And this mask is going to basically remove these guys. So it's going to delete these from the matrix. So that was this line here. So we end up with this here is this matrix now. And now we have our out one and out two, right? So these were the individual guys. So that was x1, x2, and we also had y1 and y2. So now we're going to multiply those. So x1, x2, and then y1, y2. And this is a, a scalar at this point. So that's you know, what we're dividing it with the temperature as well, and then taking an element wise. Uh, exponent. Right, so then we take the exponent element wise. Yeah. Well, first we divide by the temperature here. So we just divide by tau, each one here. And then we take the element wise exponent of each. Right, so we do that. And we'll just call the output of that. Um, let's call it x, x, y, one, and then x, y, two. So this is a scalar, right? So 0 0.5 or 0 0.4 or something, some number. Okay, great. So now we have these, and that's these, this positive here. Now we're gonna concatenate it with itself. So we're gonna end up with x, y1, x, y2, and then I'm just gonna make this for clarity, x, y1, x, y2. So now we have a concatenated version, which is this one here. And now we divide the positive. Oh, I'm sorry, we forgot to sum. So here, on this sum here, we actually pulled all of these elements together, right? Yeah, before we also like divide by uh, temperature and then yeah, exponentiate each individual ele element in that. Exactly. Case. So we'll, we, we, I, we skipped this, but here we did this matrix multiply. 
Um, but we also do divide each element by t as well, right? And then we also, for each element, we take the exponent as well. And then we sum all of these up together. So we take these three and sum them up. So what you end up with is, again, it's just the sum of x of x i and then x j, which in this case is just these guys. So x of x1, x2 divided by tau plus x of x1, y1 divided by x2, y1, and so on. So you get these three elements in here. So that's the denominator, right? So on the, on the function, we had a numerator, which was, so we had this part here, and right now we're calculating this part here, the denominator. So we're gonna end up with a matrix, sorry, uh, a, a vector here. So this negative is actually going to end up being the sum of these guys. And we'll call these like um, N1, N2, and N3 to show that these are the negative samples, right? Uh, sorry, these are four of them. Yeah, you have four. Yeah, so these are the negative scores. Okay, so this here, negative, is these guys summed across like this. One, two, three, four, and you end up with this here, N1, N2, N3, and N4. And now we're back to this concatenation that we just did, right? So we concatenated those, and we, have, we ended up with this here, which we're calling POS. So this is POS. And then here, we have our NEG, right? And now we are going to just divide those. So what you end up with is XY1 divided by N1, XY2 divided by N2, XY1 divided by N3, and XY2 divided by N4. And here I would like to point out the reason we have two copies of XY1 in the numerator and two different denominators for them is because this loss is symmetric. So if you do look at what uh, constitutes N1 is X1 dot product with every other vector, but for N3, you have Y1 dot product with every other vector. So the denominators for those two are different, but the numerators are the same. Yeah, exactly. So it's, um, yeah, it's a symmetric. So when you had the two images, right, you had the two versions of that same image here, you're measuring similarity this way and also this way. Yeah. So that's why we're doing it this way. Um, and then you just take the average here, right? So that's going to give you some sort of scale, some sort of score. Um, well, first you apply the log element wise. Yeah. Right. So you basically minimize the negative log. That's why you have a negative log. Exactly. And so you end up with um, just some final loss, which is going to be uh, some scalar, right? So yeah, after Will's explanation of the whole loss function, now I think the mathematical version of NC loss should be pretty much clear. So that's what the formula explains. You have the numerator and you have the denominator and you have positive pairs in the numerator. You have negative pairs in the denominator. You are just canceling out the negative pair where K equals to I. So that was canceling out the diagonal of that matrix. You have the temperature parameter and all of it, this is basically like a softmax formulation and you take the negative log of that for the loss.